Well, good evening, everybody. It is December 15th, 2019. Today is the end of the star quarter. So um, I am looking all my girls on here. Give me a little list. This right here, if you are a star consultant. Woo! Look, it's almost like 100%. You guys, congratulations. If you're not a star, you still have four hours. It's 9 o'clock Eastern, so, you know, at, uh, let's see, 10, 11, 12, 1 Central. Um, I mean, 1 Eastern, midnight Central time, you can get your order in and still be a star. 1800 is a Sapphire Star. And of course, it goes on up from there. Ruby Diamond Emerald Pearl. Some great prizes on there. And of course, if you were smart and recruited people, you even have a better prize because you get 600 points toward every, after you hit 800, every single person you recruited that did at least 600, it bumps you up 600 points. So that's how you get to the big girl prizes. I remember the first time it was that Dyson hair dryer that I got. It was nine. I had over 9,600 points. I, I had like 98. So the most points I ever had. And I think you just have to set a goal for what prize you're going for and then figure out, okay, this is how much I think I'm probably going to sell in order. So then I need to get 10 new recruits or whatever it is. Okay. So anyway, congratulations for those of you that are already star consultant. Super proud of y'all. And congratulations for you guys that are listening to the Boss Babe call because I know it's December and you could be in there with Hallmark. I'm sure there's a premiere starting right now. <laughs> How many y'all Hallmark girls? <laughs> you know, if in doubt, turn on Hallmark. At least it's clean, right? And um, you know they're going to kiss at the end. It's going to be over and there you go. You know, so you don't have to worry about it. The kids can watch it with you. <laughs> so anyway, um, it's funny because I thought, I am watching Hallmark too much. I need to step away from the TV. But anyway, I usually do it at night during um, not people time. So today, I wanted to talk to you about a couple of things. Number one, I had a phenomenal director's meeting on Wednesday. Uh, we have directors that drive down, gosh, some um, two hours away, uh, one gal, flies in from Pennsylvania to see her granddaughter, I mean, or her little granddaughter and her daughter, and then they drive, she drives with her mom and uh, with her daughter, and that's Tracy Clymer and Tara Cromer, and they drove to the meeting last week. Um, I just got to tell y'all, and some of y'all already have seen my post, Tracy Clymer, it's Tara's mom, she's in the Emerald Division, and her goal this year is not just Queen's Court of Personal Sales, but Queen of the Court the queen of the director court of personal sales. She wants the big honking crown and her daughter has already been queen of sales for the Emerald seminar. So there's never been a mother daughter queen. So she wants to be a mother daughter queen. And then later in um, her little daughter's life, her little granddaughter's life, she can come up and be a Mary Kay director and they can have a triple queen. Right. And so she's really motivated. And so I was really impressed in October she came well in November she came to our fall advance and I said Tracy how much she sell in October because she had sold I don't know 8,000 I think in September and I said how much did you sell in October she said $13,000 I'm like $13,000 wow I was so impressed right so she came to the director's meeting and um I said, all right, so we started doing our count up. You know, we're like 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. Everybody's feeling pretty good about themselves. 5,000, 6,000, and then everybody pretty much sits down. And I'm like, 7,000, 8,000, 9, 10, 11,000, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 18, 19, 20, 21,000 dollars. One woman sold 21,000 dollars of Mary Kay. She did half of the Queen's Court of what you need to be on target in one month. I'm like, Tracy, I'm, I'm just like, what? She did 210 faces in one month. So she averages about $100 a face. She did 26 parties. She told me that she would have sold probably five or $600 had she not done parties. Unbelievable, right? So I'm like, Tracy, so she gave me some tips and stuff, and oh, she gave us some tips, and you know, one of the things she says is, I don't have three or four people parties. I have eight to 10 people parties. So I make sure I have a lot, because I tell them they need to have six or eight, and then I call each person 
because she pre-profiles and I tell them to bring a friend. She said, so I pad it. I want to make sure I have a lot of guests there. And, and she just, you know, does, um, a great job in selling the sets. She did not do a black Friday sale. She did not put stuff on discount. <laughs> $21,000. So you guys, what I'm telling you, if Tracy Clymer can do it up in Pennsylvania where it's freezing <laughs> and snowing, you can do it too. You know, she, that's just as a consultant. That doesn't count the three recruits. She, she meddled a bronze medal. It doesn't count her director commission. It doesn't count any of that. She made almost $11,000 just on selling products, $10,500 on selling the product. How many of y'all would like to make $10,000 profit just on selling, not anything else. So if she can do it, you can do it. Are you, you got some credit card debt? <laughs> what about selling $21,000 in one month, right? So I asked Tracy, I said, Tracy, can you just give me some tips? So she did send me a little things for some tips and I'm going to read them to you. She sent me a little Facebook message. So let me just read those to you in just a moment. Okay. Okay, that's better. Okay, so I'm gonna read you these, uh, some tips, all right? And she said, um, making the most, uh, making the very, I'm just gonna read it just like she put it, okay? Making the very most of the, with the selling season first, you must believe we had the very best products to offer. Love the products first. You have to love the products first. She said, I'm going to give you some tips, not at all exhausting all revenues for sure. So these are just some ideas that she um, threw out to me. She said, always book eight to 10 parties at all times on your books. Have eight to 10 at all times. So that means if you go out and do a couple parties, you have to replace them every time. All right, as Mary Kay Ash said, nothing happens till someone sells something. So true. Number one, utilize your already customer base. Number two, call through all names, customers, old and new. These are to book your parties. All right. Number three, book parties. But if not, book that one-on-one -on -one to turn into a party. Then offer them to um, three choices. A, to join my team. B, to be my hostess, earn free products. C, what would you like to take home today? And in other words, she can be a customer. And she says she's always bundling and she's always upselling. And she said, you're going to ask a lot of questions. You're bold. You are bold. So that's if you're doing a one-on-one, -on -one, she gives them three choices when she closes. One, she offers to them to be on their team. Number two, to be a hostess and, and earn some free products. And then C, she gets their order. What would they like to go ahead and take home today? And I know one of the things she does is she asks them, you know, tell me everything that you'd like to get. If you, even if you're not going to get it today, let's write down every single thing that you liked. And I just recently did this. I sold a lady. I did a facial um, yesterday or on Friday. And then she bought about $100 worth of stuff. And then I just wrote down every other thing she liked. Because she said, I'm going to get all of that eventually. She goes, I just bought some new foundation. And, you know, I'm using this, but I think I like yours better. But, you know, there are some women, they're a little frugal and they, they don't want to get it. They want to use it up, you know. Um, so, you know, I just wrote every bit of it down and then I will transfer this onto my Mary Kay in touch under my customers and write it down. So she has them do that. So that way she knows what their hot button is as far as hostess, you know, give what's free and things like that. Okay. Number four, she said, use your Facebook closed group of all your friends. So she has a group and she puts all her customers and friends in there and she uses that to run some great sales. She said she always um, works for bookings through that and then looks for new potential team members as well. So if you, most of you, I think already have this, but if you don't go to Facebook, set you up a group and then you start and make it private. And then you start inviting, go to your Facebook friends and start inviting all the ones that, especially your customers, but then even people that you've never faced it before, you know? Okay. Um, number five, she said, have a beautiful basket full of gift ideas all ready to go to go. Um, and this is to go to business owners. It might be a little too late for the business owners. I'll, I'll be honest with you right now, but for next year, you want to go really probably October, November, um, to do that. Um, number six, do a hubby boyfriend party. She said, I have my hubby there as well. Offer snacks, beautiful gift wrapping of gift bags. And I've heard a lot of Mary Kay people do this. It says, 
They love this. They want brownie points. And usually the men are not on a budget. <laughs> um, now this will require you know his special lady and what she likes. If not, offer a few gift certificates, a little chocolate, a pretty gift bag. So you might make a list of all the men that you know and boyfriends and you know uh, and if you have their name you know really if they fill out a profile card you know a lot of times on here you know it will say like well this particular girl this is it said who may I share your product list with and it had her mom's name on here but sometimes it'll have their husband's name right on there so you can know who to invite so I thought that was a great idea and it, you could even have your husband help you to marry or your boyfriend and help uh, invite some guys over there Heck, I mean, I don't know. Maybe they could watch a football game afterwards. <laughs> so that was a cute idea to me. Number seven, do a mystery hostess night with your hostess from the month before. Um, if not a lot, they combine a couple. It's all about them. They are considered your VIP hostess, and they love the extra. And so a mystery hostess night, you have a lot of different people you've invited to come to the house, like your house, and then you draw, and one person gets to be the hostess and gets the free stuff, and they don't know which one it's going to be. Um, it says they love the extra reach out to any customer who has spent at least $50 in the last month. They may need some last minute gifts. And that's a good idea because all your Black Friday people, go back to them, see if they might need some help shopping. Um, number nine, she said, I always coach my hostess before the class. And she, I did talk to her about this. She says, I call the hostess. She gets their guest list, then she calls them and confirms each person. And she said, it gives you that added advantage of sales. It lets you get them engaged early. Um, you tell them to invite more guests. If they bring a guest, an extra person, that you bring a small gift for them. And she said, this is how I'm getting, you know, anywhere from eight to 12 people at the party instead of three to six. And obviously, if you have 12, you're going to sell more than you have three people there, right? And so that's how she's getting them there. She said, I offer my hostess an extra gift for this too. She's your special lady. She's your bread and butter that night. Make her feel extra special. Um, she said, be a visionary leader, plan to win, and you will. Believe in Mary Kay products and your abilities. Everyone wins. Happy selling ladies. All these tips work, I promise. That's what she said. And so um, I love that. I just wanted to mention those to you because, you know, Tracy, to me, what it did for me is it, it made me know that it's possible. Because I don't really know that I've known anybody in Mary Kay in my 34 years that sold $21,000 in one month by doing 26. I've seen people do a lot of parties, but I just, I mean, I'm sure there are. But for me, I, I know Tracy. Tracy is just, she's a doll. She's a pastor's wife. I mean, her daughter sells Mary Kay. I mean, you know, I don't know how old she is, a little bit older than I am, but I'm just was so impressed. And so I just want to pass it on to you because a lot of times we're crying about not having money. Like we're poor mouthing. In Mary Kay, you should never poor mouth because you have a way to make money if you have some products on your shelf. And even if you don't, you could do some parties and order the product. And so I think it's just a matter of getting your rhythm in. And she told me Wednesday, she said, you know what, Cleta, I also have 100 to 150 names. I have so many names. She goes, as a matter of fact, one of the things I've got to do is I want to, I love the thing I love to do the most is warm chatter, but I hadn't had time because I've had so many parties. I said, Tracy, I don't think I worry about it. <laughs> she says, I know, but I really want to warm chatter because I love to do it. So anyway, I hope that inspires you. And that was, you know, in the month of November. Um, and she has already sold like this is 11th. You know, she had 10 parties on her books this week. I said, Tracy, when are you doing all these parties? She says, well, she goes, my weekends are packed. She goes, a lot of the weekends I do 10 parties, 10 parties on the weekends because other women, that's the best time for them. So, wow, right? So if she can do it, we can do it. Okay, the other thing I wanted to do is I had, um, because it is still the week that we can do some parties, okay? Now, this isn't like, you know, it's the next week is Christmas. I keep thinking it's this Wednesday but it's the next Wednesday. So we still got a little time. We can do some parties. Um, so these are some overcoming some objections for holiday bookings. And I thought it might help some of you who are trying to set up a couple things this week. Okay. Um, so dear new classes and facials, you mentioned those objections as the exact reason to have a class in November or December. Remember she either sells you why she can't or you sell her why she could. So I'm just going to read a couple of these. I found these on some gals website and I thought they were really good. Number one, this is the very best time of the year to have a class and a class is the same thing as a party. Y'all know, like if you've been in a long time, when I started Mary Kay, we called them beauty shows. Then they started to be 
skincare classes. And I tend to say that still. And then it went to parties, but it's all the same thing. <laughs> Beauty show, party, class, all the same thing. So it says this is the very best time of the year to have a class because it's such a busy time that if we don't schedule time together with our girlfriends, it just, it does, it just doesn't happen because we're just too busy. So it's a great time to get together with your girlfriends. And so you may um, use that as a booking tool. Say, hey, are you going to get together with some of your girlfriends for Christmas? Um, how would you like to have a little get together and y'all will do some makeup. So everybody loves that. And, you know, as a matter of fact, you know, if you don't know what to get them, you could get them a little Mary Kay after the party or all y'all could just, that could be your experience. You know, with my directors this year, instead of exchanging gifts, we decided to have an experience and we just thought, you know, that was more fun. So this would be like an experience for your, for the friends to, instead of go do a paint party, which I think I want to do that soon. But instead of a paint party, do a Mary Kay party. I mean, they will laugh. They'll have fun. They can stay later and they can do something. So I thought that was great. All right, number two, this is such a fun time of the year to have a class because our house is already decorated for Christmas and the goodies are already made. People with no cookies. Um, it's fun to have our friends enjoy it. You know, here's the thing about that. How many of you, you your house looks so awesome right now because you decorated for Christmas, but you really don't have any parties like as far as a Christmas party at your house, like you're going to other people's houses. Well, you could invite people to your house to have the party or when you're talking to someone, you could say, I bet your house looks adorable. I know your friends would love to come see it. Why don't we have just a little girlfriend get, get together time? We could do, make it just an hour and just have a little fun playing and makeup and they could see your beautiful decorations because you want to have a reason to get some people over. All right. I thought that was a great idea. Okay, number three. We have so much Christmas shopping to do, and I have so many women who think that getting together for a class gives them a chance to shop from their seat instead of their feet. Besides, it's much easier than finding a parking place and a clerk. <laughs> Some of my clients like to just have a fun mini holiday coffee shopping spree where they can just view, sample, and get ideas to do Christmas shopping. So you can have little Christmas shopping where you come and bring some of your gifts and you just put them on the table or you can invite them to your house to, to have it at your house either way so just holiday coffees are usually only an hour you don't do facials you're just showing all the different products and some gift ideas okay uh, number four this is the perfect time of year to have some girlfriends over for a mary Kay makeover because everyone needs and wants a little touch of glamour for those holiday parties and holiday clothes some of our customers had me do a special custom glamour class where each of their friends bring along the outfit she wants to accessorize with glamour. So you would ask her, say, do you have a holiday party this week? Do you want to come by the house, bring your dress, and we'll pick out some colors for you. I did a girl on Friday. That's what we did. She had a holiday party that night. And so I asked her what she was wearing, and then we did some tips for her to get her makeup. And matter of fact, she came at about 2.30, so she was ready to go for the party. Like we did her up and she looked beautiful and she said she got compliments on it. Okay. Number five, because it's cold outside, sometimes we just need a reason to get out and snuggle together under a cup of hot chocolate and have some fun Mary Kay, um, have some Mary Kay fun together. And I know that cold weather really dries out everyone's skin and we have remedies for that. It's too cold to go out. So with that one, this like the excuse is it's too cold to go out. So that's what you say. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, it's so cold. That's why I've got to get together, have some hot chocolate, have some coffee, and I will do some pampering for your dry skin. Okay. Um, the next one is the objection. There's no, I have no money to spend. It's Christmas. I don't have any money to spend. Okay. So instead you say, because everyone has a limited budget with gifts to buy, it's a fabulous time to host us a class to do your own shopping at 50% off by just having five girlfriends in. So you could do, you know how we've talked about that before, where you can have a party and you tell them that they can have, if they have one person join them, they get 10% off their order up to five or more, they get 50% off their order. And so that's a good idea too. All right. For that's their hostess credit. All right. So the next one is that they say, I'm having company from out of town. So you say, you know, many people have, um, many people have company from out of town during the holidays and having a Mary Kay pampering session is a fun event for all. So these are some things like you're going to say these before they give you the objection. You're already using it as a reason. So instead of why they can't do it because they got company coming, you're saying, Hey, you may have company coming. This is a great fun pampering session for you and your 
out of town cousins that are coming in town, you know. Um, okay, the next one, the objection is I can't usually afford to give my girlfriends a Christmas gift. Okay. All right. So you say, I so often suggest using a Mary Kay pampering session as your Christmas gift to your girlfriends. Just tell them to come, enjoy, don't feel they need to buy a thing. But of course, you as the Mary Kay Beauty Consultant, you know they will. <laughs> so, the, so the objections we cover just by saying these, okay, the first objection was I'm too busy. Well, you say it's the best time of the year because it's so busy. You don't have time to schedule time for your girlfriends unless you actually make the time to do it. Um, the second objection was I must decorate and bake. I've got to decorate and bake cookies. And you say, that's a great idea because your house is already decorated and you already got refreshments. I'll just love that. Okay. The third objection was I got Christmas shopping. I got to do. All right. And that's when you do the thing about the, the, um, uh, you said we have so much uh, Christmas shopping to do. So many women, it's a chance to get people over shop from their seats to their feet. And said, so then the next one is, um, the perfect time. They got holiday parties that you can do the makeup for their holiday party. Too cold to go out. It's so cold. We need to get together. No money to spend. That's why you gotta have a party. You get 50% off. <laughs> company out of town, invite them over, and I can't afford to give a gift. The pampering party is a gift. So I thought those were eight great objections that you're gonna get and ways to overcome them. And you can even like overcome them before you even get them. I thought those were so good. So this week, you know, you could concentrate on, of course, last minute sales. You could concentrate on stocking stuffers. Um, anybody that you know that has teenagers, you just call them up and say, hey, or, or well, I would say tweenagers, you know, 10 to, um, you know, 10 to 18 are in the house, like the girls and, and the guys too, really, but especially for the girls and say, Hey, you know, I know you got, do you have stockings up? Have you got some stocking stuffers for your girls? And she's like, Oh no, I haven't. I gotta go pick up some, you know, something for that. So I've got a great idea and they'll go, what you got? You know, say, well, all girls love mascara and they love lip gloss, you know, so you could wrap those up and stick in there and they're small, right? The masking set, you can stick those as a stocking stuffer. The mint bliss and socks you can do as a stocking stuffer. I mean, you have lots of ideas. Um, of course, the compacts are great as stocking stuffers. And even just like some of the brushes, if you took advantage of the 55% off of the brushes, all teens love brushes. So that's a great idea too. So stocking stuffers, talk to the men. The men have not started yet. Some of we women have not started. I actually got on Amazon and bought a few things today, but um, <laughs> the men that you know, and you know men and your husband knows men and your boyfriend knows men. So you, you start talking to him and say, hey, call up, you have him do it. Say, hey, call up Joe and see if he's done with his Christmas shopping for his daughter and his wife. And you just make, make your husband do it. He can do it. He can help you. If you want to, you could say, I'm going to give you 25% of the profit <laughs> or not. Or not, right? Okay. Um, but you could call them in and then like while your husband calls or at the very least get your husband to ask for the man. Like have him use his cell phone and then when the man answers, he could say, Hey, you know, hey Joe, this is Brad. Um, my wife wants to talk to you for a second. And then you hand the phone over. That way, you know, if the woman's right there, it's Brad asking for him, not me, if you're trying to make it a surprise. But a lot of these guys you're gonna run into right? You work with them. You're friends with them. You can message them on Facebook. Um, but you know, you just kind of want to be careful doing the whole messaging because then the wife can see it and when it's a surprise. So, you know, I think in person is better. Try to call them on the phone. Okay. Um, so talk to the men, teenagers, stock and stuff, and use some of these tips to do holiday makeovers. Um, Jan and I challenge each other to do 10 faces. Uh, between now and Friday. So I got to get some more people done. So what I did is like my girl, she's a neighborhood. Uh, I'm not, she's in my neighborhood and she's been saying she wanted to have facial for a long time. And so finally I hit her up. And she said she'd come over. She don't want to do a party. She don't want to come to a meeting. You know, she just wants a one-on-one. -on -one. But my key was she knows everybody in this neighborhood. So I thought if I could get her and then she started using Mary Kay and she starts telling her girlfriends about Mary Kay and uh, then that will get me in with some more of the neighbors. And so she said, after about midway, she said, I need to get, I can't even remember the name of her friend over here. Um, she said, she needs help with her color. She doesn't hardly have any eyebrows because she shaved when she was young. They, they come back sparse, but she needs some color. She needs eyebrows and she's going to be resistant to change. I'm going to tell you right now, 
but I'll come with her and I'll encourage her because she really does need it. And I said, okay, awesome. I said, can you bring her sometime this week before Friday? Cause I'm in a contest to do 10 faces. And she goes, yes. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? Just a little tiny appointments like that. And you know, I sold a hundred bucks. What if you did 10 faces and you sold a thousand dollars this week? 10 quick faces. I know Lori got with a customer yesterday and they did a quick facial and she sold $350 to her. She bought some gifts and she bought some stuff for herself. So, I mean, here's the thing. People are spending money this week. So don't kid yourself and think they're not. I saw one of my customers, uh, I was downtown shopping yesterday and she had four bags from this cute little store. I mean, they're spending. Now, luckily she'd already spent about $150 of me. So I didn't feel too bad. And so, and she even said, I love these lip lacquers. Look at this. I've had it on all day. She had the rose on. She goes, I hope they come out with some more colors because I absolutely love them. She bought two of them. So anyway, people are spending money. Get your piece of the pie while you're out and about. And like the other thing I did is I have in my purse this week, let me show y'all. I wanted to be prepared. So I just got a little, this is just a little bag. Okay, it's nothing special about it. It's just a little bag. And then in this bag, I ordered, I went to MK Connections and I ordered some of the little cards to put the samples on so it look a little more professional, but I don't have them in and I thought, you're going to let that stop you that you don't have cards so you can't do this. No, you're not going to. So I just actually put my sticker, okay, this is the eye patches. So I just put my sticker right here. And so I had that in my purse ready to go. I also had purchased some of these. Um, hang on, let me show you. I also just purchased some of the charcoal masks. So I have a charcoal mask and then I have, um, I have my business cards in here. So I just took my business card, like every, I'm just, we go out to eat all the time. So, you know, with my tip, I put my business card. Okay, my Mary Kay business card, you can see it, there you go. And then a charcoal mask or the other one. Um, and then on the back, I wrote, Merry Christmas. Uh, this card is good for a free facial and makeover and $10 of free product. Enjoy this charcoal mask. Text me to book an appointment. And so I just leave that with the, I left it with the manager, you know, at one of the restaurants. I left it with my hostess with one of the restaurants. We went into this um, like marketplace yesterday I left her with a, um, a one of the eye samples and the charcoal mask. And it's so funny, she wanted to give me a gift. So she whips out and she goes, well, here, I got something for you. <laughs> so she gave me these two koozies. Like, I needed them, they're cheetah, right? So she goes, yeah, I, well, I, I didn't know if she was trying to give them to me or she wanted me to buy them. And I said, do I owe you for these? Cause, and she goes, no, I just want to give them to you. I said, okay, well, she got into this first actually and then Cause she knows me she knows I like cheetah and then so I said well I have something for you and so then I gave her the eye sample and then she's gonna call me she's moving her store and we're gonna get together for a facial and she's gonna bring her daughter so you know I'm just out and about but a lot of times I catch myself not as prepared so I put them in this so that they wouldn't get all jacked up in my purse and look dirty and you know so I'm ready to go I'm ready to go so I mean my goal is to by the end of the week to have none of these samples left and give them out get names and get some bookies and if not for now for the week after the, uh, after Christmas as well but it is about connecting and you know even in church this morning um, this gal this is great she texts me she says she sent me a picture of four things she goes can you bring me this stuff and it's a hundred dollars I'm like I sure can <laughs> I always check my messages before I go to church because I have a lot of customers at church and so I thought what could I give her she's a very good customer she's probably one of my best customers so I wrapped up a full size of the white tea and citrus um, scrub because she buys a lot of products but she doesn't use that so I tied it up put a little bow on it. I didn't even say anything about sticking in the back so then tonight I said did you see your little surprise because you know we have church Sunday morning and Sunday night she goes yes I may have to get some more of that stuff she said and she goes she, and then she turned around to my husband she goes she can sell anything she goes she sells she goes she can sell anything to anybody <laughs> and I said well I should be able to sell been doing it for 34 years <laughs> but you know what I know what she don't have and I know it's okay to give a full size of something every now and then so I told her how she could put it on her legs shave it off and you know that's a great way to use this product and so 
I was listening to Lori Hogg. Um, she's a makeup artist. If you don't know who she is, most of you are familiar with her. And she was doing a live thing. And so she was giving all kind of tips about the products. And just, I was getting so excited, even though I've heard of so many of them before. But I just like, one of the things that she said today, and um, I thought, okay, I don't, she might have said it before, but I didn't hear it. And she said, after she takes the eye patches off, put a little tiny bit, a little tiny bit of the all free hydrating gel, you know, the purple and just smooth it right there. And cause she's doing a makeover on her mother. And so probably her mother's in her sixties and um, she just smoothed or uh, smoothed it like right there. And it, her mother maybe in the seventies, I don't know, sixties, seventies. She looked like it was amazing. And um, she said just to help with that crepiness and be super moisturized right there. And so cause that's where you start looking drier the eyes you know, and you start showing your lines more. And so, you know, just some little tips about our products. The other th one of the other tips is she said, with um, your under eye corrector, instead of just put under eye corrector on and then put concealer on or put your foundation on, then put concealer on, you got all these layers and then it starts getting in your lines. She says, mix it, mix the, the under eye corrector with your concealer, mix them together and then smooth it on there. So you don't, you don't want product after product after product as far as foundations under the eyes because it gets them too not looking as cute. Yeah, and Jana says she mixes deep wrinkle filler and foundation primer, really? All over? Interesting. I've never done that, Jana. Do you, tell me if you do it all over, chat me up there. Um, I use that deep, deep wrinkle filler every day. The other thing that she does, I use concealer you know, right through here, um, cause I have a little forehead wrinkle, but she said, oh, she under her eye and her forehead. Okay. Awesome. Well, one of the things that she said is that our under eye corrector has light reflecting pigments in it. So actually instantly brightens. So she uses that like right here, you know, not just for under the eyes. So I thought that was good. But anyways, lots of other tips, get excited about your products, use it to use it yourself and you're going to sell more. I took my compact this week, the big one, I dropped it in a hotel room, right? Onyx busted in it and it got over everything. My whole big old pro compact black onyx eyeshadow over everything. And so when I was doing my blush and I had a streak of black, I'm like, Oh my gosh. So I had to take all of it out. And when I was trying to take it all out, then I dropped the whole compact on the floor, compact busted three or four of the eyeshadows. And I'm like, this is just not working for me. So I took every single eyeshadow out, cleaned it up really good. And then I went and got a lookbook and I thought, what colors do I not have in here? Cause I need them all. <laughs> so I went and checked it off and I made sure I have one of every color. I think I opened like eight eyeshadows. And then I saw my one compact is all eyeshadows, including the new ones that were the limited edition. And I had a couple holes. I don't like holes. So I put, the um I had some of my former eyeshadows that are not chroma fusion but are some colors that I used to use a lot so I stuck them in there so I was like excited to do my makeup today and and um the day before <laughs> and then I put in my compact the 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 pretty compact the what is where it's called pro not the pro palette but the, the other one um I put in that one um two cheek colors and then the highlighter and the uh, bronze and powder. And so I'm just like ready to go. So get excited about your own products, wear them every day. And one of the things my customer said, she was Cleta. That's what she said. Of course I had, I had her hooked up to buy a repair set and the facial peel. <laughs> like I was ready and a deep wrinkle filler. And so she came in, she sat down, she said, listen, and I just want to tell you all this, how you handle this. She goes, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. Um, cause I don't want to waste your time. She said, but I'm not going to buy any skincare. She said, so she goes, I use Cetaphil. And I really like that. And I use some other brand. And anyway, she just got a little tiny bit of Botox. And I said, okay, okay. I said, well, we're going to go ahead and do a facial anyway. <laughs> so you guys, I don't care what they tell me. I'm going to do a facial anyway, because they don't know what they don't know. So we went ahead and, and I had the repair to do it. So we went ahead and did the repair cleanser. I did the lifting serum. We did the day cream. She's putting on that day cream. She goes, mm, now I really like this day cream. I'm like, mm -hmm. I knew she would. See, they don't think, they think they like what they use because they've never tried the best. That's my opinion. So I didn't do the facial peel all over just 
because lack of time. But um, um, I did the day cream. We did the eye cream, you know. So I went ahead and did the whole skincare. And then, of course, the, I did the new Luminous Foundation. And it looked beautiful on her. It gave great coverage. She usually doesn't use brushes, so I let her use the brushes and the brush set. We did her eyes. And so she bought Glamour, but... She said, well, write down the name of that foundation and, and that day cream too. And so, and then I gave her a repair sample, you know, the one in the sleeve um, to take home with her. I didn't, but not the day cream because I'd actually opened the day cream to squirt it. The thing, I had a cleanser and all the other stuff open, but the day cream, I, I will warn y'all, if you don't do a lot of repair sam uh, parties, that day cream, if you, let's say it's four or five, six months old and you hadn't used it in a while, and then you squirt it out, it can start looking yellow and it doesn't do as well as far as your parties unless you're using it all the time. So sometimes I will grab either a repair travel size and use that or I'll just open the day cream out of a, a packet, a sample packet. So then I gave her to send her home with the night cream, the eye cream, the cleanser to use that night. So, you know, I think eventually she will be a great customer. And when I, I posted her picture on Facebook and she already has tagged someone and then her cousin came on and said how pretty she looks. So I feel like that it will be a great lead for me. So look at who you know in your neighborhood and you thought, if I could get that girl, she'll tell everybody, okay? Find that girl, find that girl. You know who she is and see if she won't, have facial with you and tell everybody. So anyway, those are just a few tips I had today that I want to talk to you about selling the product, about booking some things, get those last minute holiday sales, and by all means, finish your star tonight. By all means, finish your blessed star tonight. <laughs> and don't forget about getting your earrings so that this is the last month to do your consistency club in the first month of the career conference consistency club. So don't miss this month of your 600. That doesn't have to be until the end of the month, but you don't want to miss that. And of course you guys share the opportunity, share the opportunity this month because it's a great time to start your Mary Kay business. It really is. They're going to see a lot of people. They could get their kit. It would be in probably by Christmas. They could facial all their family and friends after Christmas. I mean, what more, who, who wouldn't love that? Who would not love that, right? Get up, open your presents, have a facial. I would, I know. Okay, so I'm gonna um, unmute these beautiful directors and I see if they have anything you'd like to add. Marie, you're up here first. I'll let you go ahead. Hey, everybody. Um, just wanna say thank you so much for the tips. Um, Tracy is amazing and what she is doing in her business is so inspirational. And one of the questions, she came to our fall advance and one of the questions that we had asked her then is because she is getting a lot of bookings from bookings. And so, you know, we asked, well, what hostess program are you, you using? And she's using the tried and true one off the Mary Kay in touch order form. It's 10% with one booking, 10%, um, you know, for holding the party and 200 in sales, 15% if she gets one booking, 20% if she gets two. So it's, it's just simple business. There's nothing, um, that, you know, there's nothing hard about it. It's just doing the things that we know we need to do. And so it truly is raising the bar from for what we think that, that we can really do with this business. Because now, like she said, somebody we know personally mm -hmm. is doing this kind of volume. So it's just, um, we have a lot, a lot to do. She did tell me, she said, I always book two from every party. Every single party I book two so that the hostess can have the full 20%. You know, so... And what she does is when she does that, that list on the back of what they want, then when she books, she goes, now this is the stuff that you can work on getting free. And see, her parties are more like $500,000, $600,000 parties. So think about 20% of that. They almost get everything they want free, right? So thank you, Lori, for because that is something that she mentioned even on Wednesday too. Okay, let's see. Sayla? Hey, everybody. Um, it was a great call, Cleta, and thank you for um, going over those objections because I think sometimes we can make the call, but then someone says, has an objection right off the bat, and it just shuts us down. So I think those objections and then what to say in place of that or to overcome the objection is so awesome for this time of year because we know that there's only a few things that people are going to say. And for us to have the answer before they say him, that is awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And you know what? I will post that objection list on our boxer group. Okay. So that way you guys okay. can hear Thanks. 
All the directors can share it on your Facebook page too. Okay, thanks, Sayla. Okay, let's see. Jana, you want to unmute? Okay. Wait a minute. Hang on. There you go. All right, Cleta, hey, thank you so much. Fantastic call. Love the going, um, going over the objections. And then also, you guys, you know what? It will stir you up to get a power partner because Cleta <laughs> and I doing this challenge, 10 faces. And you know what? 10 faces in a week is not a huge thing, but I'm telling you what, um, we are normal too. You know, I, I baked cookies a little bit today, but I'm telling you what, these girls from Florida and Colorado have got me hopping doing their pearls of sharing. So big shout out to Heather McLaughlin. She has two new team members in the last 24 hours. And then also to her recruiter, Allie Stoller, who she's like, oh my gosh, she can't go into DIQ before I do. And so we're just doing like career calls. So who challenges you? What are you challenged by? Get with them because I baked cookies today and I thought, what am I doing baking cookies? I don't have any time to bake cookies. But you guys, we're all normal and it's easy to get into that zone. Oh, it's Christmas. Like you guys, we got like nine or 10 inches of snow today. And so it's like we're snowed in. My husband and my son are out pushing snow and I'm having to do soup and hot chocolate for them. And so it's easy to get into that holiday zone. But no, 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 we have goals. You remember you have goals. And so that's why you go get yourself a power partner and you get a faces goal for next week. And I promise you, you'll follow through. You will, because I know I'm, a, I'm still, I got a big fat goose egg, but I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to see some people. So anyway, thank you, Cleta. Amazing call. And I know you will. And the thing is, she's out recruiting me so bad. So I've been thinking, I need some recruits. <laughs> You do. You got to get someone And here. The best thing about getting someone that like you're going to do that with is it gives you a reason to say, it gave me a reason to tell my friend that came over if, if she could go and get it booked before Friday and bring her over, then um, that will really help me. And she's yes. like, all right. And otherwise I wouldn't have a reason to say that. Oh my gosh. I offered somebody $15 at a, I offered them a free mascara at the bank drive through I said, you're going to think I'm crazy. But I, um, have you ever used Mary Kay? And she's like, no. And I said, I, look, I'm in a challenge with a girlfriend. And I gave her my card and put on the back free mascara at your facial. And she kind of looked at me like I was crazy. And I said, you know what? You know Naomi from the main branch, right? Because like it's my bank. And she said, yes, I do. And I said, she loves Mary Kay. She's my client. If you don't want to do it, don't throw that away. Give it to her. And because so, I thought this lady thinks I'm nuts, but I don't care because I am on a mission. And she can think I'm crazy and then I can achieve my goals. It doesn't matter. It all works well together. That's right. Plus the thing about it is that it puts a little pressure on you just to get some booking. So that's the challenge tonight is get you a partner and say, Hey, even if it's just five faces this week, I don't care, just something. And it'll make you say to your friends, Hey, I'm going to challenge with another girlfriend of mine to, who can do the five, five faces for the end of the week, you know? But I say 10, whether you do 10 or not, it don't even matter. It's just right. getting yourself busy. So thank you, Jana. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Rosemary. Hi, Cleta. Can you hear me? I can. Well, Jana's right. We had, I think, Junction City, where I live, I think we have the record for Kansas. We had nine inches of snow, and it was it's just been crazy today. And um, But like Jana said, we can't stop. And so we have a really awesome neighbor. And I heard noise outside and he was plowing our driveway who had, he was snow blowing our, our driveway, which was really cool. So, um, I did a little bit of what Jana did at edit bit cookies, but I made like the checks party mix. This is all leading up to something. I just have to tell the story. And anyway, so I had a real, I've been wanting to talk to him about getting a gift for his wife. And so this was a perfect opportunity. I took some of the party mix over as a thank you for the snow blowing and sold him one of those, I can't remember what it's called, escape bundles or whatever you call it. Wow. You know, the one with the travel roll it bag. Yeah. yeah. So I felt like even though, you know, I kind of was snowed in today, I felt like I still got a few things accomplished and I got my driveway plowed and, and I sold Mary Kay and you know, it was a great day. So anyway, it's just not too late, especially for the guys and not to, you know, talk bad about guys, but you know, typically guys, the ones I know at least wait till like Christmas Eve, you know, so they're, they're happy to have, because when I, when I mentioned it to him, he's like, yeah, do you have something in mind? I mean, I think I could have sold him. I don't know what he would have bought it. Just <laughs> right. I, yeah. You know, but Anyway, so that was pretty cool. So that was my, my big adventure of the day. So awesome. anyway, thank you for the call. Awesome. Okay, great. 
Um, hang on just a minute. Let's see. Okay, Karen Crownover. You got anything you want to add? Wait, Karen, I unmuted it. Where'd she go? Karen? Now. There we are. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I didn't know if you might I think we were clicking at the same time. Yes. Hey, oh my goodness, I love y'all's call. Um, I was really taking notes on just some of the, the challenges y'all have got going on with the faces deal. I'm so sorry. My, just a okay. Anyway, I'm fired up to get 10 faces done this week, too. I'm like, oh my goodness, that's what I need. It was a was a little challenge there but um the Lori Hogg thing was awesome today and just loving our products you know we do sell so much more when we just know a few little tips that we can teach people and um, those were so timely so we're fresh and we're on it and we're seeing a lot of people this week to sell a lot of product all right awesome thank you okay let me see some of the directors maybe have called in instead of um zoomed in so you're gonna have to text me or something because i don't know if it's you or not but i want to show y'all something um so just actually text me if you're on here and you're a director and you're not um your name's not on there so i saw this today i thought it was a great idea is you can take your old miracle set bags not your old but your current ones you know let's say you break up a miracle set which i've had to do and the naturally fits perfectly in there and so you know you sell more when you sell in sets. So I want to show you that. And then in the satin handbags. Okay, so satin hands, I use the scrub all the time. Like at every sink in the house. One, two, three, four, five, six sinks. I have satin hand scrub. <laughs> so today I had to open a couple satin hand sets. And so I just took the stuff out and, you know, and then it's loose and I thought, and I got my bag. So look at the satin body. The satin body fits perfect in the, um, in this bag. Now I put a hand cream in this, but you could put all three of the satin body in here. And then there, that's a really nice satin set that fits perfectly. And then I just put one that had, I'm calling this, um, a dry skin set. I don't know. You can probably think of a great, a great name for it, but this has, the satin body, I mean the um, hydrating body lotion, a hand cream. This is one that we had last year, but I just absolutely love it. Um, but you can put the other hand cream. And then I took this, because this is one of the sets I broke up. You know, this is the uh, softer. So I've got, this is just a whole moisturizing pack, you know. And if you wanted to, you could throw in a lip balm in there. You know, but that, but anyway, these bags, if you package stuff together, you know, all I got to do is put a big old silver bow on there and boom, you got your cute little set, you know. Um, and then even in like on this one that has the wash and the lotion, and if you put the scrub in there, you could put one of the um, little, uh, what you call it, sponges for the shower and stick that in there. Yeah, and, and Janice said, or the extra night night cream which that softener is very much like it, but you know that it's long and it'll just stick right in there with it. So that's a great idea, Jenna. Um, okay. So those are the tips we have. Hopefully some of it can help you this week to sell some products, get excited about your business, get excited about your products. And you know what? Remember what we said last week? You got to marry your Mary Kay. <laughs> Be in love with your Mary Kay. And if you love your business, you're not going to, um, you know, you're not going to separate and get a divorce from it just because it's Christmas. <laughs> no, <laughs> you're going to stay with it. Stay with the program. And I was just thinking today that the number one way to make sure your business dies, okay, you ready? To make sure your business dies is to disconnect from your sales director, your sales meetings, and your calls for the next three or four weeks. Just disconnect, and in your mind, you go, I'll start back in January. You want your business to die? You want it to just slow down and almost like you forget that you even sell Mary Kay and get discouraged? Just stop going, stop listening, and stop, um, you know, being in connection with your Mary Kay unit and your sales director. Because I've seen it a million times in my Mary Kay business. You got people on fire, they're doing great, then they miss a meeting, then they miss another meeting, then they then they kind of quit getting on the calls and then you can't hear from them. And then all of a sudden they're not doing Mary Kay anymore. 
and nothing changed except for they disconnected. And in my mind as a sales director, I always think I'm always at the meetings. I mean, like, it's not because I didn't show up. <laughs> I'm there. The consultant, you guys got to show up because your director does a great job at preparing a, um, an awesome meeting for you to attend. But you got to get yourself to it to be motivated. Just like we get ourselves to different things for sales directors to get our cup filled, you know? And because we need our cup filled too. Had I not had Tracy over, I mean, that really motivated me this week. So, you know, um, plug in to where you need to plug in. I'm preaching to the choir to you live participants and those of you that are listening but just in case you listen on youtube at some point and then you think you know what i haven't been to a meeting in like two months get yourself back over there the great thing is this isn't church you got to go forward you don't have to be rebaptized or anything <laughs> just come on to the meeting and we will welcome you with open arms now every now and then i do act like i'm you know having a heart attack because i haven't seen you in so long but i will not embarrass you i will just really greet you with great enthusiasm <laughs> because you are always welcome back you're always welcome back so you guys have a great great week it is you know kind of crunch time in mary Kay between now and the end of the month i mean end of the weekend um i know you're gonna have a great week of sales and um in recruiting too so you know get that as you're booking don't forget to book for that week after christmas so that you can really be jam up packed in the year huge and start the new year big um it's a new decade you guys it's a new i mean we celebrated the last full moon so let's celebrate the last space you're going to do this decade, right? This is it. All right. You guys have a great week and a great um, next few days. I know you will.